This is a really exciting video. Watch this, or better, listen to this. Or better, don't listen to this because my Nvidia graphics card is blocking out everything that's not my voice. If I just slap my desk while talking, you're not gonna hear it. This is crazy and look at this, another thing you can do is blurring your background. And watch this, it's not blurring my hands, it's not blurring my hair. Another thing you can do is making it a green screen, like this. And I can just move myself to the corner, this is crazy and we're gonna do all of this in this video. But first I want to thank Owned for sponsoring this video with their pretty new tool called Owned Pro. The base version of the plugin is completely free and after installing it you can find it under Tools and then Owned Pro. The free version gives you 5 overlay packs which rotate over time and you can simply install them by clicking on them and then clicking on Install Free Design to import the whole pack into your OBS Studio scenes. When you subscribe to the plugin you get access to their whole library of premium designs which is a very big library to say at the least. The link to install this tool for free will be in the description and I will also link my own video on top where I go over everything Owned Pro has to offer. The overlays, the alerts, the countdown, the donation page, everything will be in that video. The link is in my description and the name of the tool I just used is Nvidia Broadcast. However, something really important because there are two tools like this. This tool Nvidia Broadcast can only be used if you have an RTX card. If you don't have one of those then you will need to use RTX voice. This is another program and do not be confused by the name which says RTX voice because it can be used by GTX cards and RTX so that means if you have a pretty decent Nvidia card you will be able to use it. So let's search for it RTX voice here we go, as you see right here, download the app for NVIDIA RTX GPUs or higher, download NVIDIA Broadcast. For NVIDIA GTX GPUs, download RTX Voice. And to install RTX Voice on a PC with a GTX card, you have to go through some steps, so just follow me and I will show you how to install it. So if you have an RTX card, download this, it's pretty simple, you just install it. If you have a GTX card, just click on this RTX Voice, it will start downloading. And while it's downloading, I'm gonna show you how it works because it's the same thing as Nvidia Broadcast. You see we have a microphone, a speakers and a camera tab. The RTX voice program has a microphone and the speakers but doesn't have the camera. So I can already show you how this works. So no matter which of the programs you're using, you will have to select your microphone. And for me, it's chat mic because that's my Go XLR and that's my microphone that's above here. Then next they want you to select the effect and right now the only effect available is noise removal. Then here you can enable it or disable disable it and then here you can select the strength. Now I've tested a lot with the strength and you need to see what works for you because if you set the strength to 100% then when there's a big clap for example you will not hear the clap at all in your stream or in voice calls doesn't matter it will get filtered out completely but you will also hear a strong effect in your voice because of the clap that's being removed and I can actually show you because I'm recording this so when I clap right now you won't hear anything. But when I talk and then I clap, you will hear the claps in my voice. You will hear that my voice kind of goes down and becomes kind of mushy. But that's normal since this is a really strong effect. Now when I change the effect to something like this, you will hear the claps, but the effect will be less strong in my voice. If you don't mind that the background noise is kind of noticeable, then maybe a strength like this will be perfect. It will cancel out most of the background noise, but the negative effect on your voice will be less strong, so maybe that will works better for you. I mean this clapping is really loud for the microphone, this isn't a scenario you're gonna be in. A more realistic scenario is someone else doing something in the background and then you wanting to filter out that. And before I go over speakers and camera, RTX Voice has been downloaded. Now when you install RTX Voice it means that you have a GTX card because if you have an RTX card you will wanna use Nvidia Broadcast. And so when you have a GTX card and you install it, you will probably or better definitely will get an message. So as you see here Nvidia RTX voice system check, the system check will fail. So once you got the error message, you close it, you press yes and then you go to your main hard drive, so probably the C drive right here, then to temp, 
NVRTX Voice, NVAFX, and then right here you see RTX Voice.NVI. You want to delete something in this file, but if you open it like this, you won't be able to save it because you don't have the rights to it. So you want to search for Notepad on your PC, you want to right click it, then say run as administrator, click on yes, and now we are in admin rights. So now you go to file, open, maybe you're in the same file path, or you go to it manually, then you change the file type you're looking for from text documents to all files, and then here you will see RTX voice. You double click on it. Right now, you select constraints, property name, and then close constraints. You delete it, and then you go to file, save. Now you go back to your C drive, to the temp folder to nvrtx voice and then you run this setup right here and if everything worked then even with a gtx card you will have completed the system check also note that before installing rtx voice you want to update your drivers so just click on it and install them or install them manually but make sure you're on the latest game ready driver now i don't have a gtx card so i couldn't test this so if you have a problem with this if something doesn't work then definitely tell me in the description because i will search for a fix and then I will pin the fix in the comments. So right now you can click on agree and continue and then it will install RTX voice. Now I'm gonna close Nvidia broadcast because otherwise they will interfere. Now it isn't closed completely so I will have to close it right here and there we go. Now let's launch RTX voice and as you see this is the same thing as the audio options of Nvidia broadcast. We have the audio options right here where I can select my chat mic then enable remove background noise from my microphone and then choose the strength and then here I have output device which is the speakers option in Nvidia broadcast I will show an example on the screen so this input device is the microphone tab then this output device is the speakers tab and then there's one other tab in Nvidia broadcast to remove the background stuff like that it's in beta and it's only for Nvidia broadcast so for people with RTX cards so right now our microphone is going to the Nvidia program the background noise is getting filtered because this is enabled and so now it's being sent away from the NVIDIA program and that source is called microphone NVIDIA RTX voice. So now we can go to OBS studio, then we can go to the settings. By the way, it's the same thing for Streamlabs OBS or any other program. Then you go to the audio tab and then as our microphone, we want to select microphone NVIDIA RTX voice. Now let's click on OK and right now you'll see that our microphone is being imported and right now if everything works then if I clap because this is enabled the clapping should be removed so let's test it and let's look at this audio mixer right here to see if it works it does right I'm clapping and sometimes it gets picked up a little, but in general, it isn't. Now, let's test it with this. So I'm talking now and you see how this audio is moving, right? Now, when I turn it on, you're gonna see that nothing changes. So when I only turn on this and then I don't talk, then you will see that it picks it up. I'm gonna show you because it doesn't separate this from my voice. But when it's hearing my voice and then I turn it on, then that was really loud. Then the audio isn't being affected because it's removing it because it knows that it's background noise. So to recap, how does this work? My microphone is here on top and it's picking up my voice and it's entering my PC as chat mic. Then right here, we select chat mic as our input device. So because of that, my microphone goes to the NVIDIA RTX program. Then the background noise gets removed because this is enabled. And then we are importing that sound right here as our microphone NVIDIA RTX voice. And now it works. Now the second thing is the output device. If you are using NVIDIA broadcast with an RTX card, then this will be called speakers. It's the speaker tab. So I'm going to show you the output device right now for nvidia rtx it's the same thing for nvidia broadcast and then after that we're gonna switch to nvidia broadcast and then i'm gonna show you the webcam tab which will only be available to people with an rtx card okay i know it's a lot of gtx rtx blah 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 but it's necessary because otherwise people will be confused so right now the output device what is this used for it's pretty simple it's the same thing as the input device you can send whatever you want to this output device, then it gets filtered when you turn on this check mark, and then it gets sent away from the NVIDIA program completely without background noise. I'm gonna show you how it works. So an example of this for gamers and streamers is Discord. You go to Discord, you go to the settings, 
to voice and video. And then a quick thing, just like in OBS, your input device, your microphone can now be changed to microphone NVIDIA RTX voice. Also make sure that if you had this as your mic somewhere, the background noise is already gone. So you want to disable any noise suppression that's enabled. So if this is enabled, just disable it and then also disable noise reduction right here because otherwise they will interfere. So then this is our input device, but now our output device that works in the opposite way. So you want to change the output device of Discord, which will be your friends talking. You want to change that to speakers and video RTX voice. So then your friends who are talking will be sent to the NVIDIA program, which will be right here in the output device. Then the noise gets removed from that and then it gets sent away to this device right here. And so here you have two options depending on if you want your stream to hear your friends too. So wherever you are sending this, it will be your friends without background noise, which is great because it's going through NVIDIA RTX voice. If you select your default device or your headphones right here, then everything will be as usual. You will hear your friends in your headset. And then if you select your headset in your OBS settings, then the stream will hear everything too. They will hear your game sound, your music, and then also your Discord sounds to your friends without background noise which is amazing but another thing you can do is sending your friends so your output device right here the audio of your friends talking in discord you can send this to a source that you're not using for example for me realtek digital output right here this is the audio port in the back of my pc i'm not using that audio device another example would be this that's the audio port in my monitor you will definitely have one device that you're not using so send your nvidia rtx voice output to that device let's take the audio port of my monitor so let me show you what's happening right now I'm in the music channel right here on my Discord and Me6 is playing music. So this can be a friend that's talking. Now, where is that audio of my friend talking going? We see that in the video settings, it's going to speakers and video RTX voice. So it's arriving in this program. Then the background noise from my friends get removed and it gets sent to the audio port of my monitor. And there it stops because that audio port isn't being connected to anything. So I will hear my Discord friends no but then the next step is going to your OBS or Streamlabs OBS, going to your settings, to audio, and then setting your desktop audio to, to that audio device that you weren't using, but where your friends are arriving right now. And so for me, that's my monitor. And when I click on apply, you will see that the source arrives right here in the mixer and that's desktop audio too. That will be my Discord friend. So I can click on the settings, click on rename. Let's call it Discord. Click on OK. And so right now my friends that are talking in Discord will get sent to OBS in a separate source and the background noise will be completely removed. Now we have one last problem because we can't hear our friends because they are only going to our stream. Now when I click on the settings icon and I go to advanced audio properties, by the way, in Streamlabs OBS, it's this cog icon right here to go to the advanced audio settings, but I'm using that to record right now. So I'm doing everything in OBS. So once you're in the advanced settings, you will see your source right here. It's called Discord right now because we renamed it and we want to change the audio monitoring. If we choose monitor off, then that means that we are not listening to the source and only our stream will hear it. If we select monitor only, then we are monitoring the source. So it will be sent to our headset. But as you see, mute output, the stream will not hear it. So in that case, you can hear your friends on Discord, but your stream cannot. Then if you select monitor and output, then your Discord friends audio will be going to the stream and to your headset and the background noise will be completely removed since it's going through NVIDIA RTX voice or NVIDIA broadcast if you're using that. Monitor and output, let's click on close. And so this is everything you can do with NVIDIA RTX voice. Now, if you have an RTX card, then you will be able to use NVIDIA broadcast and that gives a bunch of webcam options. So let's close RTX voice right now. Let's close it here because it always stays is open and let's start nvidia broadcast right now okay so as you see microphone speakers camera everything we just did for the speakers we can do the same thing right here they made a new version a completely new program called nvidia broadcast and there we also have camera settings so you select your camera as the camera source and then you choose one of these effects you can also disable it as you see 
there is my studio and when I enable it, it will remove the background. This is amazing. I'm not saying that it's perfect as you can see right there, but those artifacts are partly because I'm only using one light to create a cinematic effect for my video that creates a lot of shadow right here on my face and that shadow is also right here. If I move my hand closer to the light, you will see that it's almost Perfect. So if you're in a well lit room, if the windows are open or if there are a lot of lights on you, either of those, then this effect will work pretty well. Now another thing we can do is adding background blur. So for example, right here. Now as I said, my camera already adds background blur, so it's not really fair. But you can see when I set the strength to the maximum, this definitely works. Now if you want to import this in your streaming program, you just add a source, you add a video capture device like you usually do when you add your webcam and then instead of selecting your webcam, which for me is Camlink, you select camera and video broadcast. You make it bigger. As you see, the background blur is working really well. Now you also should know that if you're using a pretty bad webcam, the quality of your face and the background and the line between your face and your background will also also be low quality so this effect will also be pretty low quality so that's pretty normal let's use my phone as a webcam real quick because that way i can show you a better representation of the quality you get with a webcam so i'm gonna use elgato epocam so this is my phone this is how your webcam will probably kind of look now it's having some problems with the exposure i'm not gonna change it in the app right now so let's import it in obs video capture device and then we change the source to camera nvidia broadcast and this is the end result you can see that the background blur definitely is working let's try the background removal right now so let's disable the effect let's go to background removal now it definitely isn't perfect but if you're green screening yourself in the corner like this for example I'd say that it looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna change to my camera again. So let's change this to Camlink. And I'm not really sure if it's that big of a difference in quality. You can see that on the right side, it looks kind of perfect because my light is there. And then on the left side, you can see these artifacts. And that's because there's a lot of shadow there. The more light in your room, the better the end result of the effect will look. Now, if you are really serious about green screening for your stream, then you will obviously want a green screen behind you. You want to put lights on it. You want to put lights on yourself. And then that will obviously look better. But if you're using this to put yourself in the corner like this, I mean, it looks kind of good. And also a big advantage of using this, like a really big one, is that you can disable it and show your studio. If you have set up your studio, you've added some lights, you made it pretty because you want to stream while people see your studio, then having this to use the occasional green screen is amazing. Now, if anything in this video was unclear, just ask for help in the comments and I would really appreciate it if you would like the video because that helps a lot in the YouTube algorithm. If you want to learn about new things in the streaming world, you can follow me on Twitter. The link is in the description because there I post things as soon as they come out as well as some mediocre tweets. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that I will see you in one of my next videos or maybe in one of these two. Have a nice day.